Hello everyone and welcome to this brand new let's play for Banjo-Kazooie. This is going to be a 100% let's play. We're going to get all the honeycombs and all the jiggies. And up in the top left hand corner there, you'll be able to see how many jiggies and how many honeycombs I have. If you want to follow along with me, or if you get stuck on any of them, uh, hopefully this will help you out. But yeah, we're just generally going to have fun with this. So this is a Nintendo 64 game, brought out in 2000. Sorry, 98, I think. 2098? What am I saying? Anyway, uh, enough rambling. Yeah, 1998 is what I meant to say. So yeah, this game was developed by Rare. And um, I haven't really seen much of Rare apart from Sea of Thieves, which uh, me and my girlfriend play all the time. I've actually got quite a few videos on Sea of Thieves on this channel. But anyway, I'm digressing. I'm actually doing Golden Knight as we speak, so I don't really know what I'm talking about. Anyway, uh, yeah, we're going to start a new game. So this game uh, was one I played as a child. I grew up with the Nintendo 64, so I'm very familiar with most of the Nintendo 64 games, this being one of them. I was never able to complete this when I was a kid, but I did complete it last summer um, when the lockdown and everything was on. Uh, I basically had to sit in the living room and I was playing this uh, I actually played it on Xbox which um, the controls are different obviously I am using a Nintendo 64 controller here um, playing the Nintendo 64 one so I don't know I might need a minute or two to get used to the controls again but um, I think uh, the controls work well one one way or the other with the controller or the Nintendo 64 controller, and I'm rambling. Again, sorry about that. Anyway, this is Gruntilda, and she is the main bad guy of this game, if you like. And basically her thing is that she wants to be beautiful, and her plan to do that is to kidnap someone and put them in a machine, and uh, kind of steal their beauty, I guess, and it's gonna be our main character's sister, which is Tootie, so that's uh, Banjo's sister. Now in this game, uh, it's really like fun because a lot of the inanimate objects are not inanimate. So things like, obviously you saw there, the cauldron and the broomstick, they are, have faces. The enemies in this game, there are like carrots and stuff like that. They have faces as well, it's, uh, it's really fun. Uh, obviously, most, uh, or I think pretty much all of the characters in this game are animals or inanimate objects of some kind. Um, yeah, it's just a really fun game to play. Um, and yeah, so that character there is Tooty, that's Banjo's sister. Uh, I think she's a little bear, I think Banjo and Tooty are bears. Uh, and we're about to meet Kazooie as well, the um, other main character of this game. Although I would argue that Kazooie is actually more useful. In fact, she's a lot more useful. As you can even see, Banjo's just sleeping while his uh, sister's about to get kidnapped. And like, he doesn't even know. So yeah, uh, shout outs to Kazooie for actually, you know, being awake when things go bad, you know. Uh, I think uh, Banjo could probably sleep through anything. A lot like myself. I've actually slept through alarms before. Seriously. Like fire alarms and stuff. Absolutely crazy. Um... Don't worry, nothing too serious, but you know, and like somebody's cooking and it just goes off randomly, you know. I don't mean anything too serious by that. So, yeah, there's Tootie, and uh, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, so yeah, she's now getting kidnapped, and Kazooie is not waking up. Uh, sorry, Banjo's not waking up, so yeah. Uh, the thing about this, this uh, Gruntilda character is everything she says has to rhyme. Which leads to some pretty awkward, uh, ridiculous dialogue, but it's like, it's like just really, really cool how it's all done and put together. And yeah, Kazooie is freaking out at the minute. Oh, that laugh. Okay, so this is Banjo's house. This is the first world we're going to be in. So this game has a little tutorial section. If you don't complete the tutorial, you can't uh, unlock all of Banjo's moves. You can choose to skip the tutorial, but because this is a 100%, we're 
we are going to be doing all of the tutorials just to show you guys um, where to go and where to get everything. So yeah, Kazooie and uh, Bottles, they um, they have a bit of a love-hate relationship and that they are always like making fun of each other or arguing with each other and Banjo's just kind of stood in the middle like, yo, I'm just here to like rescue my sister, you know. I don't think he's got time for their antics, basically. Um, and how, how narcissistic do you have to be to build a layer? A layer? Layer? To build a base, let's say, that looks like your own head. I couldn't think of anything worse. Anyway, we're going to press A, and that will allow us to do the tutorial. You can skip the tutorial, like I say, but we're going to go around everything, and we're going to show you guys where to get stuff. There are actually six honeycombs in the starting level. Now, if you get six honeycombs, that will get you your first piece of health. So, um, we're going to go here. Stand on the molehill, and I think we press B. There we are. And we're basically just going to learn how to jump, how to do things like that. Uh, let's start with the ca Oh, no, this first one's the camera controls. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to use the C buttons. That's standard for Nintendo games. Um, and we're going to press R to move the camera behind as well. That could actually be useful in some situations. I think when I'm fighting the gorilla, that would be pretty useful. But that's in a different world, so... Um, yeah, okay, so R moves the camera behind Banjo, that's pretty sweet. Um, oh yeah, we can't backflip yet. And you can use the C buttons to change the camera as well, awesome. So there's another mole hill here, we're gonna jump on, and he's gonna teach us, this one is teaching us how to jump, so uh, your jump could do with some help, of course it could. That's a good point actually, because I don't think I've ever seen a mole jumping. To be honest, I've never even seen a mole, so, you know. Uh, so we're going to jump. Nice. We did it. That's got to be the best, uh, the quickest uh, end to the game ever, right? No, I think we've got more to do. So we've got to do a double jump. There we are. And Kazooie helps out. <laughs> yeah, Kazooie doesn't like doing this kind of stuff. Um, and now we're going to learn to backflip. And yeah, she's uh, making fun of his glasses. Now, I actually wear glasses myself, so... Don't really appreciate that, Kazooie. Glasses are cool, man. Anyway, there we go. Um, nice. That's all the jumps. Keep practicing. Great stuff. I'm going to practice how to jump, and that's going to be the rest of the video. Just backflipping. No, it's not. I'm joking. Uh, we can see the first honeycomb piece there. Um, you can jump across here, but it won't really do anything. You can't fly across there. What you have to do... Backflip. And there we have our very first honeycomb piece. So uh, he's an extra honeycomb piece. Collect six of us to increase your energy. Ah, uh, and there is six in this uh, first open world, which is pretty handy. And we're probably gonna need them due to my skill level. Like I say, I haven't really played this in about a year. So uh, yeah, that was the first honeycomb piece. So honeycomb piece number two, if I remember, it's up one of these trees and we don't know how to climb yet. So let's see if we can go learn how to climb trees. Um, some, ah, it must be this one, has to be. Uh, let's go stand on him. Oh, is this the swimming tutorial? Ah, oh, this is the swimming tutorial. That's okay because there is a honeycomb in the water, so we can get that. Yeah, and uh, again, Kazooie very helpful here. Uh, Kazooie's going to be the one actually doing the swimming underwater, at least. Uh, Banjo does a little bit of a doggy paddle, which is uh, not really that fast. Uh, Kazooie's definitely the one uh, for swimming here. So I think, yeah, you press, you can kick with B. No, you kick, yeah, you kick with B. And there is a honeycomb piece just under here. It's in a little alcove section. I can find it. Is that it? Yep, that's it there. Nice. I was always scared when I was a kid that I was going to drown um, underwater segments. I always found them quite hard. Uh, and there we are. That's honeycomb piece number two. We're going to get back to dry land. And then I'm going to try and find uh, the 
climbing tutorial. So, there should be... Oh, actually, we'll do this one next. I know I keep wanting to do the climbing tutorial, but I keep finding different ones, so we're going to do this one next. So, there is another honeycomb inside one of these boulders. Chicken legs. Hold <laughs> Z and press B for a powerful beaky barrage. Okay, let's give this a try. Hold Z, B. There we are. Nice. Uh, I don't know which one it's in, so we're just going to have to break them all and hope for the best. That was two. Is there only three? Um, ah, there's the last one. And that's uh, honeycomb number three. So, let's see if we can actually find this. I'm gonna, this is going to be today's episode. Find the climbing tutorial. Um, where is it? Is it up there? That, that, that has to be it, hasn't it? Yeah, that's got to be it. So we're going to jump on the molehill. Uh, I hope you're not afraid of heights. Yes, this is the climbing one. Okay. Uh, I don't actually know which tree it's on, but I know there is a tree. So, um, yeah, you basically just run into the tree or jump on it. And you'll be able to climb up. I don't think it's this one. Uh, but we can use this to look around and we can see that it's over there. And yeah, Kazooie's going to help us to get to the ground safely. Backflip. And that's honeycomb number four. Now, there is another honeycomb. Uh, if you can see just up that way, I think it's like there or something. So we're going to go get that now. Okay, so let's see if we can get this one. I think the last one is from the combat tutorial. So let's see if we can do this. Do... Um, how are we going to get this one? Running, run and start. Hey, we did it. There we are. So that is um, Honeycomb number five. There is a extra life through there that I want to try and get. Hey, we got that as well. Very nice. Look out for me. I'm an extra life. Great stuff. So we'll get back to dry land here. And uh, we'll go for the last Honeycomb. Which should be located in the uh, combat trading area. Where we're going to be fighting things like carrots and broccolis and stuff, you know. Uh, gotta eat your greens to beat your greens, right? Yeah, if you, if you don't like um, vegetables, this is the game for you. So, unfortunately we don't have Kazooie's um, little running thing yet. But Kazooie's... Uh, Chicken walk, I always called it as a kid. I'm not actually sure what you'd call it. But it's a lot faster. It's a much faster way of moving around. So here we go. Uh, it's time for you to learn the claw swipe attack. So again, Kazooie's attack is actually more useful than Banjo's. Seems to be a running theme. Simply stand still and moving slowly. Okay. Uh, what can I try it out on? <laughs> so, uh, Bottles is suggesting that Banjo and Kanzui fight in Mortal Kombat. But there's a carrot. I think it's called the Topper, so we're going to attack him. Um, there we are. Great. I did it. Nice. Try another. Okay, we can do that. Don't worry, Kazooie, you'll get some moves and they'll be better than Banjo's as well. Be some forward roll. Yeah, I know what you mean, Kazooie. I'd like to learn to fly as well. But we don't have any uh, red feathers yet, so we can't do that anyway. We have to... Oh, wait. I'm, am I not supposed to roll into them? There we are. Nice. Bullseye. One more. There we are. And then we're going to learn a attack from Kazooie. Buzzard trick. Okay, I had to. Good one. The rat at tat. By jumping and pressing B in the air. Ah, there we are. So, what we want to do is. There we are. Good job, Kazooie. Not bad, Featherface. 
Uh, oh, we get another one as well. Excellent. Uh, here he is. Die. Nice. And we get the last honeycomb for that. Well, the last honeycomb in this area. There are, I think, 24 in this game. And then uh, that's pretty much it for Spiral Mountain. Uh, near enough, but there's a little bit more to do. Um, we're going to get a jiggy and probably unlock the first world. I'll probably break this Let's Play up into worlds. So, like, I'll do one episode per world i think that's probably the best way to do this and we're now going to head up the top of spiral mountain i believe that is where i have to get my first jiggy in fact yeah i know it is anyway so once we get up here the way this game works is you have to open worlds uh, in order to do that you need jigsaw pieces or jiggies obviously and uh, you're ready to tackle the witch now. Great stuff. And uh, you can cross and enter Grunty's lair. Nice. Great stuff. Um, I don't think we need to talk to him. Let's just try that again. Oh, yeah. Stop wasting time. Banjo to it. He needs rescuing. Okay. Great stuff. Right. Let's go into the witch's lair. And we'll get the first Jiggy. And I think in the next episode we'll do the first world. But yeah, there's a little um, cutscene here. Basically just explaining Tootie has been kidnapped, obviously. Locked in this machine and... Um, very Frankenstein-esque kind of vibe here. Interesting thing about this game is if you quit the game, it counts as game over. And uh, Gruntilda's plan will be complete. I love the, um, the rhyming in this game. Yeah, that machine must take a long time to warm up. Very long time. Ah, the laugh. Brilliant. Okay, so this is like the main area where it's gonna like. Uh, Head off in different directions, taking us to different worlds. But as you can see here, this is the first Jiggy. And this is the very first one in the game. Ah, uh, yeah, find it with the picture missing. Ah, oh, the music, awesome. Uh, yeah, so that music, uh, you, that plays every time you get a Jiggy and it's really cool. Just like the Super Mario 64 animation. I think the only time that animation doesn't play is when you are underwater. Because I don't think Banjo can dance about when he's underwater. But here we have our very first Jiggy. So we're going to look at the picture. And you must fill in the missing spaces with the jigsaw pieces. Okay. I think you press Z to do this. Give that a try. Nope. On a picture by pressing A, okay. Press B to leave, okay, so there we are. And that's the first world unlocked. And the door is open to Mumbo's Mountain. So that will pretty much be everything for today's episode, guys. Next time we're gonna go into Mumbo's Mountain, we're gonna 100% that. Get all the Jinjos, all the Jiggies, notes, and everything. Uh, I haven't included notes in the top section because there's like a hundred per level. So, um, but yeah, we'll, we'll definitely be getting everything. Uh, you actually need to get the notes in order to open note doors. I just want to thank you all very much for watching today. I hope you have enjoyed this. Please like, subscribe and all that good stuff. Leave any comments if you do have any. I love hearing from you guys. I mean, Banjo and Kazooie will see you in the next episode. Take care, guys.